my name is Joe Barney and I am a trans man. And this is information that I was looking for myself and had trouble finding. I ended up having to go to a fertility clinic uh, and pay a very expensive consultation fee to get the information that I needed. All right, so the short answer is yes, it's not guaranteed. The reason why it's highly recommended to freeze your eggs before having a hysterectomy is for two main reasons uh one being if your ovaries or broveries as i like to call them if they are damaged or you know injured or, or something happens during having the hysterectomy it's not much you can do about that so there's that risk and then the other reason is because uh once you remove everything else they kind of they kind of just floating in space uh removing the uterus the fallopian tubes the cervix um uh, there's nothing really keeping them in place anymore. They can be harder to get to or impossible to get to uh, after having a hysterectomy. When they go to retrieve the eggs and they can't reach your ovaries with the needle, um, there's really nothing they can do about that. So yeah, it's not guaranteed. Uh, the chances of them not being accessible uh, after having a hysterectomy is two thirds. Um, and that was a statistic given to me by the fertility doctor that I saw. Um, he was only able to give me statistics uh, from cis women uh, who have, you know, had to have a hysterectomy for medical reasons. I mean, it's a very personal choice. There's more pros to keeping your ovaries than there is cons. Uh, the only con is, you know, if you're really dysphoric about that. Other thing that's important to think about is um, having no estrogen and then ha looking at having the possibility of having to get on synthetic estrogen in the future because I have no estrogen in my body anymore. Barring dysphoria, I mean, you've had you have your low level of estrogen supplied like a cis male would, uh, and that's important for your health because we we all need both testosterone and estrogen in our body, um, and not having one or the other uh, is it causes uh, side effects in your health. The other reason uh, you might want to keep your ovaries is so that you don't have to go through surgically induced menopause, you know, hot flashes. A lot of people get post-op depression because of the, uh, the menopause. So, you know, there's that. If your ovaries aren't giving you any problems, there's really no need to remove them. You can have everything else removed and keep them and, and continue on with bottom surgery. Or, you know, if you don't want to get bottom surgery, you're fine. Another thing I wanted to mention is uh, once you remove everything, but you keep your ovaries, you do not have to worry about having a period anymore. You don't have to worry about getting pregnant and you do not have to worry about getting a pap smear. It's a good idea to keep them, even if, uh, you know, you don't really care about freezing your eggs, uh, but you know, you'd like the possibility of doing that. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, there's, there's pros to keeping your ovaries and, and it's all has to do with your health, the health of your body. There's two blood tests that you can take to kind of see if um, your ovaries are in good shape. Um, and that kind of give you an indication of whether you should do the egg freezing process and how successful it'll be. One of those tests is called AMH. And then the other one, I have a brain fart here. And then the other one is FSH. The AMH blood test, it measures your egg count 
or your ovarian reserve. And then the FSH is a chemical that helps the ovarian follicle become mature and release an egg. So those two blood tests will give you an idea of, you know, if you're in pretty good shape. Um, and this is, you know, this is all information that a fertility specialist will help you with. They'll walk you through that uh, and tell you what those numbers mean. There's also this misconception that once you start taking testosterone for a prolonged period of time, you know, years or what have you, your eggs aren't good anymore. There's no point of freezing them, which is also not true. Um, the only thing that testosterone does that we really know is it kind of puts them in hybrid hibernation. So they're not active. They're, you're not ovulating every month while you're using testosterone. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, drop a comment. You can DM me on it. You can, um, you can insta that. You can DM me on Instagram. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, let's talk about this because, uh, it's important. It's important to get this information out there. It's important to weigh all your options and figure out what's best for you short term and long term. Oh yeah. Subscribe. I'm definitely going to, uh, upload more videos. All the videos I upload won't be trans related, but you know, I kind of got other content in mind. So, you know, you just have to subscribe and find out. Or don't subscribe, that's cool too. Peace.